he was uh, a sign language interpreter for The Lion King on Broadway, or he was supposed to be. His name is Keith uh, Wan? Wan? Wan, Wan, I think. He's uh, 53. He's got 10 years of experience working on Broadway as an interpreter. And Fun fact, he's white. Fun? Well, yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> so so he is, he's... he's uh, Just going to put that out there. And uh, the director of accessibility programs, Lisa Carling, basically uh, said, you can't do this at right after they hired him. An They're internal like, email read, Keith Wan, though an amazing ASL performer, is not a black person and therefore should not be representing Lion King. Uh, so he not only said why not? should not be representing black actors in Lion King, Lions? but Lion King as a whole, he cannot represent any of the characters in it, even though it is a cast, a diverse cast of white and black and other races. Um, so I'm he, so, so confused. How, I just want to ask, firstly, when did lions get races? Yeah. The, okay. Yeah, okay, they're they're animals. Thank you. <laughs> Secondly, how absurd are we going to make this situation? Are we going to have a black ASL interpreter for all the black actors, a white ASL interpreter for the white ones, and then all the other races who are on the cast will have their own ASL interpreters well, think who gen- interpret only their lines? Well, think about gender. Well, what if uh, will only men represent male characters when they do ASL cre- recreations and things? I was how like, far it- is this gonna go? Have you ever seen the video? of the the poor ASL interpreter who does the Eminem concerts and she's just the she, oh, she goes like yeah. 900 miles an hour yeah, she's like, going half I've yeah. seen that yeah. yeah like imagine like uh, or like Megan did, the Stallion ones did oh my she, gosh did she need to grow up in Detroit Michigan on the on eight mile uh, in eight mile to understand what Eminem's lyrics meant so that she could accurately portray what he's saying in songs no because this argument is stupid and you're just a bunch of racists so uh, he filed a title 7 complaint with, with the with the federal government and hopefully he wins and really yeah I, 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 I thought he was just suing the the nonprofit it, it says he's well, suing the nonprofit uh, theater development fund over be racial title. discrimination after he was told it was no longer appropriate to have white interpreters represent black characters what black for ca- ASL Broadway shows. Are, are they saying just black characters because the actors portraying the characters are black? A few of the leads are black. Not all of the leads are okay. black. Some of them are white. So, so it's but, really just that he can't interpret for any of them just because some of them are yeah. black characters. But again, it's like CGI animals. Well, they're not. It's live. It's, 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 it's live Broadway. action, but the live, the CGI live action from 2019 is literally just animals. So, uh, yeah. but the voice actors in the 2019 version were like Donald Glover as Simba, right? Yep. And James Earl Jones still as Mufasa. Uh, like, I guess race swapping a voice actor means that lions have races now. Uh, I also found this quote really, really interesting from Shelley Guy, the director of ASL for The Lion King, says she called for Carling to get rid of all non-black interpreters, according to another email obtained by the Post and cited in the all suit. Uh, I'm assuming title it would have to be under Title Seven, though, right? Because that would be the anti, uh, you can't uh, discriminate based on race I or religion. I don't know. I um, guess so. We should hire him, have him in like the fourth box. Yep. And he should yeah, we us. need a pop culture crisis ASL interpreter. I, that, I took sign language in high school. I forgot all of it because uh, I, I, I'm deaf in one ear. So my mom thought it would be a great idea. My dad thought it would be a great idea for me to learn sign language. Unfortunately, what they didn't know is it was first period and I wasn't really awake much of first uh, period when nice. I was in high school. So uh, yeah, uh, I don't remember much. But yeah, this poor guy. So it says uh, he was shocked when he received an email from Carla. And remember, Carling, she, who sheepishly asks him and another interpreter to leave the show due to the current social climate that is made up nobody was complaining about this except for your racist employees well now that they fired him and this situation has come to public attention now there are some like activists for the deaf community actually getting behind the decision um i saw this tweet saying uh, i've seen white interpreters have a tendency to take over and control for their own benefit for interpreting. That's but this should give to black interpreters to rep or this should be given to black interpreters to represent black characters for ASL Broadway shows. What does that even I mean? I don't for think their it has benefit? nothing to do with skin color. They just openly say that. And then they also added Keith Wan, 
a white interpreter turned into Fox News, crying, playing victim to gain attention because the fact because of the fact that he got fired from Lion King. So he it shows he just... doesn't really give an f about deaf and black communities. Wow. This is disgusting <laughs> behavior, dude. This is the world where, like my, you being fired because of your skin color and not just taking it means you're the bad guy. And this is how dare he? Likely someone who is actually like a social activist for deaf people. Yeah. And even they are, you know, falling in line with this decision and I guarantee made by you. people who don't care about their interests. They only care about avoiding backlash. This is so hyperbolic. It sounds like a South Park episode. Uh, like this is so wild. It's uh, so, so, so he, his job was to be what? Like, yes, I would love to not be employed. Thank you. I'm so sorry for what uh, my ancestors. Sorry did. for party I'm, rocking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go <laughs> slink off to the woods and do and just die because Basically. because you decided I can't have a job. <laughs> like, uh, or or he can only work on all white productions. Yeah, which is not is a that thing. not which twice as discriminatory? Do I want to point out that Hamilton is still on Broadway. That's yeah. I saw a tweet that pointed out they thought that was hypocritical. Someone said if a white sign language interpreter can't be used for Lion King, should black characters be canceled from roles in Hamilton? It's the same principle, but if you apply it without a double standard, then y you end up in an impossible situation. Um, another person said, these days I feel like we are back in the 60s when it comes to race. The point was to come together, treat everyone the same. Boy has the pendulum swung. A white interpreter for The Lion King was fired because he's white. He's good at his job. The employer agrees. So why? It's uh, it, what, the funniest part about this. Whenever this type of stuff comes up, is the ultimate level is like ultimo level gaslighting. When people are like, "That's not true. That's not happening." Like that, that's what happened. Like anytime I, I I've given up. Like I used to bring up to my friends. Like these were the types of cases oh, yeah, where I would bring them up to my friends and be like, "Look, this is going on." They're like, "Where'd you get your source? Fox News." I'm like, "Well, if that's Checkmate. the only well if that's the only place that will cover it, and I'm no fan of uh, of of Fox, just like I'm not really a huge fan of MSNBC or CNN because I think they're all biased. But if that's the only place that will cover it, then what what are you supposed to say that it's not?" real the the guy didn't file the lawsuit that kevin Wan is a fake person that somebody made up in a lab somewhere it, it, what again the best part is like oh someone's complaining that he lost his job for an unfair reason Boo! you Boo! Boo! racist <laughs> oh man it like, sounds what? like something a white supremacist would say take Truly. that you incel <laughs> that, you, yes so it's actually insane like Again, the logic just doesn't follow. Can a black ASL interpreter interpret for the lines of white actors? Yep. Yeah, yep. that's fine. I'm sure. Why? Yeah. Uh, Why? Be, be, it doesn't hold be, up to scrutiny. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, but it does because you know what? Don't think about it and just go take your job loss and die in a corner, guy. That's what they. That's what they want. They want you. They want yeah. you penniless. They want you broke, and they want you to stop complaining because of m equity. They they want uh, in the name and the funny thing is this is permeated so far into culture. There's a, a company that uh, makes like a a company that I used to skate for that just released a women's skate and literally called it the Equity Model. Love it. I'm not kidding. Like, so it literally says Equity on the side of the skate, and it's like, why are you bringing up? It's like, like might as well have called it the Affirmative Action. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like who does that? No, yeah. no. I mean, at least they didn't make it pink. No, it is. Oh well, no, it's it's. Uh, it's <laughs> there it's, you it's, go. It's Whoa. Okay. Actually, no, it's uh, it's a uh, dark. <laughs> it's like lilac purple actually. But they do they they do release uh, lilac a pink one. Well, it's for girl like they, it's. Here it's, you go, girls. Here are your Barbie skates. Well, You're a skater be, Barbie. You it, can do anything. I, I actually don't. I, I actually disagree with you there because I think that's then it's like saying like uh, it's like then you're supposed to just change it just to subvert expectations. What if women actually do just want pink skates? That's fine. But then don't call them the equity yeah. skates. Um, and, and the, only, and the real difference between ASL them is that language interpreter Barbie. Yes, that, that's you what can it is. be anything you want to be. Uh, as long as uh, as long as we fire a bunch of other people first. Uh. I just, it's just incredible all the places this faux outrage has reached. Also, the other one was a woman. She could she should have been like, you would dare fire a woman. 
She should have. Uh, she should have done that. She should have used their. You have to use their own internal logic and intersectionalism against them. Well, yeah, but there's a them. there's a totem pole, and I women know, fall lower on it. I, I, hopefully, that red nice. pills this lady, right? Where she's like, maybe I'm not. Never at does. The, yeah, no. It, I, I always laugh at that way. I'm like, oh man, they're like, oh, that person's really going to understand what's going on. Now I'm like, no, they're not. They're going to think this is an isolated incident, and it's not an isolated incident. But let's face it, Broadway's kind of nuts. Uh, I mean, Broadway's always been kind of nuts. True, but I'm, I'm guessing there's not a lot of sign language interpreters. Just going to be a wild guess of mine. It's a pretty small mm, market, I, I, I especially and not just sign language interpreters, I guess but ones performers. who can perform that Perform. way. Yeah. They're, they are actors in their own right. Mm. There aren't that many of them to go around. So uh, I can't imagine that this is a road they want to go down. How um, dare he go on Fox News and complain? Also, seriously. like this is just fired. showing that they're they're continually reimagining the Lion King to be a story of representation that it was not originally intended to be in the '90s. Thank you. Woo! Was that was that our first? That's our first. Thank you guys. Um, like the. If I'm not mistaken, the first voice actor for Simba was Matthew um, Broderick. Yeah, uh, Matthew. No, uh, was it no it was. It was. Okay. It was Matthew. And Broderick. young Simba was Jonathan Taylor Thomas from mm -hmm. Home, Home Improvement. Yeah, so it's like, I I understand. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Thank you guys. Um, I also did not know that uh, Moira K Kelly portrayed Nala. Moira Kelly, who was in yeah. Everwood, and then also in the underrated. Uh, teen drama One Tree Hill. If anybody ever saw One Tree Hill, no, she I did. A, I just don't remember it. She played a mom in that, so she must have been quite young at that time. They're reinterpreting Lion King because these events take place in Africa. For that to mean <laughs> that lions are the equivalent of black human I beings, or like it's, I, it's almost kind of insulting. Yeah. I, they're animals. Well, remember, I used to make that joke. I was like, we need to make no movies with human beings for like 10 years. We need to but just, we still we can't still escape it, Brett. This is what I've been telling <laughs> you. the worst part. You can't win. No, you can't. Because then it just becomes about representation in voice acting and in ASL and in all of this other stuff. So you're going to be you're going to be intersectional and you're going to be angry at your fellow human being and you're going to like it they say. You're not yeah, allowed incel. you're not allowed <laughs> to actually believe in some type of unity or cohesion with society because there's just too many things that divide us. And sometimes I do believe that we are too far gone as a society. Not to black pill anyone here that like uh, throughout history uh, we are so heavily focused on what's on what divides us and what makes us different from one another that we don't actually focus on the things that actually unite us. Like I said, bring back the term first world problems. Remember when everyone could get united around the concept that uh, living here in America was kind of like winning the lottery, no matter what income ca class you were in, because it could be a whole lot worse. It just doesn't hit anymore. No. Like it's just not, you know, there used to be some cancellations where I was like, this is... Freaking outrageous! And this one is freaking outrageous, but it's just like, oh, wow, that's a new and creative way to be a complete and other racist. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It's like it doesn't even shock you anymore. No, not and, not at all. And, I mean, uh, but in Hollywood, I expect it, nothing from these people. This is also part of an industry that's very heavily focused on um, who you know, right? So they're not heavily focused on qualifications. It's a lot of... Uh, incestuous casting meaning that it's all people within the same demographics and art by its very nature is subjective so could this one performer like whoever they hire will probably be just as fine as him i don't know but who's going to be the judge of that right there's no there's no definitive way to say that this guy was better than this guy in this type of art because this guy's not going to be the one draw, driving ticket sales yeah that that's not really the point. No, how good they are at the job. But I'm, but um, yeah, no, I'm saying that the the problem is, is that they get away with it easier yes. in a situation like this because of the subjectivity of the work they have to do. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.